Greetings all, Shane Bruce with Rustam on Daisy. Man, it's a busy Saturday. I uh, got a request from the owner of this gun uh, to shoot a quick video on how to swap out the lever when you have a sliding spring block installed in the gun. Now with a light duty spring like a 499, it's a little bit of a wiggle, but you can do it by hand. But when you've got a cobalt, 327 super spring in your gun you're going to need to take measures and it's one of those deals where you either have to have three arms or a cheat so uh, to refresh the viewership uh, a, a sliding spring block is a small metal tab it can look like that it can look different from this but its essential function is to provide a bearing service for the lever to push the mainspring into battery so the mainspring pushes it forward of course it compacts then the sear is released the gun fires that's how a sliding spring block works so in one regard they're easier to, to uh, install than the standard spring anchor style mainspring because there is no spring anchor you'll notice that this little piece which is an integral part of the daisy design is not in this gun because this gun's been converted to a model 40 27 with a sliding spring block so what we're going to do in this video is show you how to dismount and mount your sliding spring block because you have to put pressure on the mainspring to get the lever installed. That's what the purpose of the video today is to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our action and this has to be done with the sliding spring block and a billet lever. Remove the stock screw. Remove the top stock screw and pull the butt stock. Take care that you uh, do not lose your spring. That's a critical component. All right, the next phase we're going to do is we're going to remove the trigger. So we just pull the trigger bolt out. Now with these uh, older daisies that have the Latigo loop that actually goes through, let me show it to you here, it goes through the receiver, and you can see it right there. That is the, that is the Latigo loop mount. So it traverses the uh, receiver, as you can see, and it's going to be in the way. One of the things it gets in the way of is getting the trigger out. So you have to use a, a certain technique with the trigger on it because it will not just slide out like it will on a 111. You've got to get it up to this position. Okay, now I'm going to have to manipulate the gun around. And you've got to spread the back of the receiver to get the trigger through the slot. And then you can pop it up and out. Because of that little bar in there, if you try to do it any other way, you'll discover that you get consistently hung up on the bar. All right, so now, We've got our trigger out, our butt stock's removed, our lever is engaged. So we're going to move over to the uh, vise, and I'm going to show you a simple way to, sim to uh, duplicate the effect of having three arms instead of two. Okay, so now we've got the receiver clamped into our vise, and just like removing a spring anchor, we're going to take pressure off the sliding spring block so that we can get our lever out. So you need your mainspring compression tool, and this is the cheat. What you're going to do is get a piece of wood, something that makes it comfortable, so that you can slide your uh, spring compressor tool in and then forget that you forgot your uh, screwdriver. So then you're going to step back over here and grab your screwdriver so that you can take the lever out. All right, so you f find a spot where you've got bite on the spring and it's a super spring. So it's kind of heavy. It's got a lot of push to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to brace this up against our chest cavity and we're going to lean into it because what we want what we want to do is pull pressure off that spring there we go because right now the sliding spring block is pressing on the nose of the lever so it's just like having a regular spring anchor except it moves back and forth and this is what on a uh, heavy spring this is a bit difficult to do if you don't use a technique like this or if you don't have the the uh, use of an assistance so you get your bolt out you pull your flex lever out, or your martini lever, or your regular lever. And here's the cool part. Now that we got that lever out of the way, we just stick the uh, probe in here. We grab the back of the 
plunger assembly and you pull it out of there. Now, once you get your plunger assembly out, it is a super spring. So it's possible, it's possible to do this by hand. You know, and as a matter of fact, there's a video up uh, from, oh, North Blue, North Blue Hill is the name of the, uh, uh, the YouTube channel. And the guy's name is Jason Butler. He uh, just put out a really good video about his experiences with uh, Cobalt 327 Super Spring and an overbore air tube and a Model 1938 Daisy. So I highly recommend you guys, uh, you know, look for that. If I can remember to do it, I'll put a link in the description so you can find it easily. But uh, great video by the guy, great video, intriguing accent. So if, he, if you're a manly man like Jason, then you might be able to get this done by hand, but I normally swap springs with the uh, caulk gun, as you know. So let's say we've swapped our springs. Installation is reverse of deinstallation. Slide the uh, plunger assembly into the receiver, get it seated, and when you're ready to install the lever, you will have to go back again with your uh, spring compressor and compress that mainspring because the lever has got to fit up in here. Oh, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch is all you need to get on it. But to get it, in, get it in and get it lined up with its hole in the receiver, that's what it's going to take to happen. All right, so that's the video for today. This is how you would install a uh, low pivot lever on a sliding spring block equipped plunger assembly with a super heavy spring. It isn't required with the lighter springs because you can manipulate that. Anybody can manipulate that, but the super spring is a different deal. <laughs> that's all for today, kids. <laughs>